right, we're looking at word problems using right triangle trig classwork. A damsel in distress is being held captive at a tower. Her knight in shining armor is on the ground below with a ladder. When the knight stands 15 feet from the base of the tower and looks up at his precious damsel, the angle of elevation to the window is 60 degrees. How long does the ladder have to be? So here's my tower. I'm 15 feet from the base where the knight is. Angle of elevation from the ground is 60 degrees. We want to know how long the ladder is. So the ladder is hypotenuse, adjacent, or opposite. What's x? Hypotenuse. So 15 is the adjacent. So which trig function are we going to use? I like to write it on the top of my paper. So, co toa. And it is cosine. So cosine of 60 degrees equals, yeah. It's 60 degrees, so that's what the little other zero is. So cosine of 60 equals 15 over x. I know we don't like x on the bottom, but what do we do? Just multiply by x, and we get x cosine 60 equals 15. And then what do we do? Divide by cosine 60. And we get x equals, stick it in our calculator, 15 divided by cosine 60 is? Thirty feet. Questions about that one? All right, I want you to try to set up the next one on your own and then check with me. You ready? Suppose you're flying a kite and it's caught at the top of a tree. You let out all 100 feet of string for your kite and the angle that the string makes with the ground is 70 degrees. Instead of worrying about how to get your kite back, you wonder, how tall is that tree? Not with your kite. Okay, draw your triangle. Put the angle in the correct place, the 100 in the correct place, and your x in the correct place. Once you have that, label it opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. Figure out which trig function to use, set up your equation, and solve. All right, I'm going to draw it. So we have a right triangle, correct? Where does um, the 100 go? The bottom, the hypotenuse, yep. Yeah. Where does 75 degrees go? The bottom angle or the top angle? Where does 75 go? Bottom, because it says with the ground, right? And we're trying to find how tall the tree is. So that goes on the side or the bottom? Side. Okay, so we know 100 already. We said it already was the hypotenuse. X is the opposite. So what uses opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. So we go sine of 75 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by 100. 100 sine 75 equals x, so x equals approximately, what do we got guys, put it in your calculator, 96.6 feet. Okay, the next one has kind of a weird picture, so we're going to do it together. A submarine traveling at a depth of 200 feet dives at an angle of 15 degrees with respect to the line parallel to the water surface. It travels a horizontal distance of 1,500 feet during the dive. What is the depth of the submarine after the dive? Okay, so here's the surface of the water. We're already 
250 feet below the water. Okay? Now, from here, we're going to dive down. Here's the horizontal. We're diving down at 15 degrees. So we're diving down 15 degrees from the horizontal. We went 1,500 feet. I want to know how far down we are now. Okay? You said 100? 15 degrees. Okay. Right here, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, so I'm going to use which trig function? Tan. So tan of 15 equals opposite x over adjacent 1,500. So we times 1,500 on both sides. We get 1,500 tan 15 equals x, so x equals, put that in your calculator. 401.9. So that's how far down we are, or what else do we have to do? Plus 250. 401.9. And then we're going to add 250 to it, and we get 651.92 feet. Okay, so that one was a little weird because we started 250 feet below. Okay, I want you to try number four on your own. There is a slight trick to it, but I will go over that. Brothers Bob and Tom Katz buy a tent that has a center pole of 6.25 feet high. If the sides of the tent are supposed to make a 50 degree angle with the ground, how wide is the tent? Try setting it up right now. <clears throat> Try setting up your picture. You guys can draw a right triangle. I see some of you doing nothing. Draw a right triangle. Where does 6.25 feet go? Where does 50 degrees go? What are you trying to find? Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is it says it's a center pole. So that means the pole must be in the middle, and we're looking at a tent that looks like this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find just one side of this tent, and then we're going to times it by two to find the whole width, okay? So the center pole is 6.25. The degrees is 50. We're trying to find the width. So 6.25 is opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. And x is? Adjacent. adjacent. So we're going to use which trig function? Tan. Tan. So tan of 50 equals opposite 6.25 over adjacent x. We don't like the x in the bottom, but it's okay because we just times both sides by x. And then we divide. As you're getting more and more used to this, you can just skip right down to here. So x equals 5.24, but that's only one half. So what do we do to find the other half? times this by 2, and we get 10.49 feet is how wide the tent is. Because it's only half, we, you don't see a tent that's at a right angle like that. Tents usually look like this with the center pole in the middle. So we only have half, so we have to times it by 2 to get the other half because we want to know the whole width. Okay, the back is your homework. That's all.